Hello everyone. Welcome to UIS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 Consider the following statements about countervailing duties or CVDs. 1. These are tariffs on imported goods that are imposed to offset subsidies given by the exporting country's government. 2. CVDs help offset any negative domestic impacts that producers of the same good might experience due to foreign competition. 3. The WTO only permits countervailing duties to be charged after the exporting nation has conducted an in-depth investigation into the subsidized imports. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. The WTO only permits countervailing duties to be charged after the importing nation has conducted an in-depth investigation into the subsidized exports. Question 2 with reference to prospect theory, consider the following statements. 1. The prospect theory says that investors value gains and losses differently, placing more weight on perceived gains versus perceived losses. 2. Prospect theory is also known as the profit-making theory. 3. It was developed by Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky in 1979. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. Prospect theory is also known as the loss aversion theory. The prospect theory is part of behavioral economics, suggesting investors chose perceived gains because losses cause a greater emotional impact. The certainty effect says individuals prefer certain outcomes over probable ones, while the isolation effect says individuals cancel out similar information when making a decision. An investor presented with a choice, both equal, will choose the one presented in terms of potential gains. The theory was cited in the decision to award Kahneman the 2002 Nobel Memorial Prize in Economics. Question 3. Consider the following statements about International North-South Transport Corridor, INSTC. 1. Russia, India and Iran signed preliminary agreements to develop the 7, 200-kilometer long International North-South Transport Corridor, NSTC, in 2002. To the primary objective of the NSTC project is to reduce costs in terms of time and money over the traditional route currently being used. 3. The idea was to build a transport corridor linking Russia's Baltic Sea coast to India's western ports in the Arabian Sea via Iran. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is C. This agreement was eventually ratified by 13 countries, India, Russia, Iran, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Bulgaria, Armenia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Oman, Tajikistan, Turkey and Ukraine. India is now asking for the Chabhar, the Iranian port it is developing, to be connected to the corridor. Question 4. Consider the following statements about non-banking financial company, NBFC. 1. They are financial institutions that offer various banking services but do not have a banking license. 2. Deposit Insurance Facility of Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation is also available to depositors of NBFCs, like in case of banks. 3. Investment banks, mortgage lenders, money market funds, insurance companies, hedge funds, private equity funds, and P2P lenders are all examples of NBFCs. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. Deposit Insurance Facility of Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation is not available to depositors of NBFCs, unlike in case of banks. 
NBFCs lend and make investments and hence their activities are akin to that of banks, however there are a few differences as given below. I. NBFC cannot accept demand deposits. 2. NBFCs do not form part of the payment and settlement system and cannot issue checks drawn on itself. 3. Deposit Insurance Facility of Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation is not available to depositors of NBFCs, unlike in case of banks. Question 5 with reference to Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope, suit, consider the following statements. 1. Designed by scientists at Center for Science and Environment, CSE, will study the sun's ultraviolet, UV, emissions and capture high-resolution images of the sun's atmosphere, known as the corona, in various UV wavelengths. 2. Suit will operate in the far and near ultraviolet regions, covering wavelengths of 200 to 400 nanometers. 3. ISRO will use suit to monitor the sun's activity and provide early warning of potential solar flares and coronal mass ejections, CMEs, study the interaction between the sun and the earth's atmosphere and try to better understand the role of the sun in climate change. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. Designed by scientists at Pune's Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, IUCA, will study the sun's ultraviolet, UV, emissions and capture high-resolution images of the sun's atmosphere, known as the corona, in various UV wavelengths. The instrument will observe the hotter and more dynamic regions of the sun's atmosphere, such as the transition region and the corona. The chromosphere is the layer of the sun's atmosphere that lies just above the photosphere. The corona is the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere. ISRO had previously received the visible emission line coronograph, VLC, to be integrated with Aditya L1 mission. VLC, developed primarily by IIA, will collect data for solving how the temperature of the corona can reach about a million degrees while the sun's surface itself stays just over 6000 degrees centigrade. The corona has so far only been studied during an eclipse when the disk is covered and Aditya L1 is aimed at better understanding the mechanism powering the sun. Question 6. What is Aditya L1 mission? 1. It is India's maiden mission to observe the sun. 2. It will be launched nearly 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth to Lagrange Point 1, L1. 3. Out of the 7 payloads, while 4 will directly view the sun, 3 others will carry out in situ studies of particles and fields at the Lagrange Point L1. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is C. It will be launched nearly 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth to Lagrange Point 1, L1, a stable point where the gravitational forces between the Earth and the Sun, as well as the centrifugal force of the rotating system, balance out. Question 7 with reference to National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development, NABFID, consider the following statements. 1. NABFID was set up in 2021 by an Act of the Parliament. 2. To address the gaps in long-term non-recourse finance for infrastructure development, strengthening the development of bonds and derivatives markets in India, and sustainably boosting the country's economy. 3. It is a specialized development finance institution in India aimed at supporting the country's infrastructure sector. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is C. Question 8. Consider the following statements about National Water Awards. 1. RO Foundation 
one of India's leading and most credible NGOs in India, has won the fourth National Water Award under the Best NGO category. Two, Jharkhand was adjudged third, after Madhya Pradesh, first, and Odisha, second, in the Best State category. Three, in the Best District category, the award was given to the Kota District of Rajasthan. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is A. As part of the ongoing nationwide drive to realize the government's vision of a Jai Samrit Bharat or Water Prosperous India, the National Water Awards focus on encouraging the good work and efforts made by various individuals and organizations. It seeks to create awareness among people about the importance of water and motivate them to adopt best water use practices. Bihar was adjudged third after Madhya Pradesh, first, and Odisha, second, in the best state category. In the best district category, the award was given to the Ganjam district of Odisha. The Best Village Panchayat Award was presented to Jagannadhapuram Village Panchayat, Bhadradri Kotagudam district of Telangana. Akashwani, Guwahati also received the second best award in media category. The Gal Shakti Ministry had announced a total of 41 winners, covering 11 categories, including joint winners, for the National Water Awards. 2022. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join. Unacademy.